Hello YouTube, MFC Transfers here, I'm back with another video and in this video I'm going to be talking about Andres Pereira. So, basically, obviously Van Hal is looking to bolster his squad in the summer by bringing in you know, a couple of signings. Um, there are rumours that he wants to bring in a right back, a centre back, a central midfielder, possibly a striker and a winger. And he's already bought uh, Depay, so you know, a winger is probably checked. But anyway, let's not get into that, let's get into what Andres Pereira has you know, reportedly told Van Hal. So apparently, um, obviously Pereira say, recently signed a new contract for Man United. That obviously inevitably means that um, Van Hal must have assured him of first team play. And if that assures him for first team play, then uh, technically, if you think about it, we don't need to sign a central midfielder because of what happened to Pogba. Pogba left Man United on a free transfer to Juventus and he became world class. The thing is, Andres Pereira signed a new contract. But if you don't get the chance to show he's world class, like Pogba did, well, like Pogba didn't, um, he won't. Obviously, you can't. Sh he, he won't be world class. So basically, um, Andrew Spurro says that he's ready to be to break into the first team. Um, obviously, he's doing day, you know, day in day out on training, working very hard, and he's obviously said, don't, don't he, um, reportedly said to uh, to, Paul, uh, to Van Hal, don't bother spending seventy million on Paul Pogba because we've already got a world class player in Andres Pereira and he is he has the potential to be a world class player and I believe that if given if Van Hal gives him the chance Pereira can show what a world class player he is so anyway um, there has been links that Paul Pogba will come back to Man U and uh, as not will but as in Man U may will bid for Pog Paul Pogba in order to bring him back to Old Trafford around, and the fee is around 70 million pounds but Pereira who is 19 years of old uh, 19 years of age sorry um, says I'm not worried about that he has faith in his ability as you can see here I like to have a challenge I'm not scared of the challenge I know it will be hard some of the best players are well in the team in the world are in the team for example Rooney, Di Maria you know who else actually it's, see that's the problem you don't have any world class talent in a Manchester United squad and the thing is Pereira I would love, I would love to see him given a, you know, a decent running on the side. As in, we've got two games remaining. Give him those two games. Start make him start those two games. Um, who, even if we got Arsenal at home, I think Pereira is great. Uh, I, don't, I don't, I don't, really um, like David Blind. I'm not saying Pereira is better than David Blind. I'm just saying Blind is not performing well. So give Andres Pereira a chance, and you know, hope if he performs well, he does. And if he doesn't, just take him off at halftime in it. Okay, yeah, so that's the article finished. So, yeah, basically, I'm just going to give my opinion now. So, we've got two games remaining. Start Andres Pereira in both of them. Give him a chance, and he'll show you what a great player he is. He's going to obviously have a full pre-season with the first squad uh, in the summer. And hopefully, next season, um, Pereira gets you know much more chance to show that he's a great player. And that's pretty much all, that the, um, all, all I want to say about Pereira and all he wants to say about himself. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyways, um, guys and girls, let me just comment down below about what you think about Manny's, you know, Van Hal and should he give the chance to players or not. Um, like this video, um, subscribe because it only takes one second to subscribe. Literally one second of your life won't hurt you. So subscribe and be sure to check my other previous videos out. And I'm going to be doing loads of videos. So see you later.